Terrace, could you uh, talk us through the game tonight, please? Yeah, it was a fast game. I thought uh, the Phantoms played well. I thought we played well too. Um, it was just uh, one one goal at the end there that really decided it. And uh, I thought both teams played really well, both ends of the ice. And we knew it was going to be a, a tough game, and especially uh, Phantoms at home. They're, you know, as I well know, they're, they're hard to beat. Do you, do you think it, feel it was a tougher game tonight than usual, or uh, stay up there with high standards? You know, I, I think teams play better with adversity and the Phantoms have gone through a little bit of adversity in the past weeks and they've really pulled through as, as a team and that always gives uh, gives the edge. And, you know, there's a big hype on the internet. Uh, this is a big game. This is a big game for both teams and uh, they're they're behind us and they're five games in hand, you know. So this is this was always going to be a tough one coming into this rink. So does that mean then that the return trip in Guilf Guilford on the 27th is going to be an even bigger game than uh, than before? I think every game between us is going to be big. Uh, we, you know, struggled against uh, the the lower teams, and we play well against the big teams like the Phantoms and Bracknell and Sloughs. But uh, every game between the Phantoms and Flames, I'm sure, are going to be a good game. <laughs> I know you always love coming here because of the fans, but uh, how did you feel the fans on both both sets of fans perform tonight? Yeah, you know what? I thought they packed this place. You know, I think. Uh, you know, it's it's it was really sad for me to watch uh, the turmoil in the past couple weeks. But these fans, fantastic! It was loud. Uh, every hit, every uh, you know, the referee only called two penalties, but there could have been a few more. But they, they were into the game, and uh, you know that's what we have at the Spectrum in Guilford, and uh, it's nice to see it here again. And you know, I know most games with MK, there's going to be a lot of fans, but I thought uh, I thought the place was pretty packed tonight. So you're definitely looking forward to seeing a coach load of fans come up come down to Guilford on the 27th. Yeah, you know, uh, we got two weeks off, so I'm heading off to Portugal to golf for a little bit. Uh, I've been looking uh, forward to a little break, but uh, we got three games and three nights, and the Phantoms are the second. And, uh, you know, this is a crucial time. Always at Christmas time and January, there's a lot of games in a little amount of time, and you got to take two points every time. And uh, if not, you're going to slowly slip down the table like, uh, you know, we're in jeopardy of, and, and any team in the top 40 of this is the time to really shine this month. So you think, come the season end, you think it's going to be a very tight tussle between Phantoms? Do you think that maybe there'll be anybody else in the mix as well? Yeah, you know, there's everybody surprising me this year. You know, I, I do believe that the Phantoms and, of course, us, I think we're top team. That, that I, I like Slough and, uh, and I like MK. Uh, but teams match up differently, you know. We, we can't seem to beat MK and we can't seem to beat the Isle of Wight. <laughs> and, uh, but then we go out and we absolutely dominate teams like uh, Bracknell and uh, Sheffield and stuff. So it's, uh, it's just how I think teams uh, match up against each other. And I think uh, we're very even with the Phantoms, you know, high scoring, good, great defense. And so it's just, you know, it's a toss up who's going to come out, who wants it more. Well, uh, you know, fingers crossed you don't do too much golf over the, uh, over the break, but um, thanks very much for talking to us and have a safe journey. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you, Mike.